I'm Matthew Lipson, Head of Consumer Insight. So the UK needs to all but eliminate carbon emissions from domestic heat if we're going to hit carbon targets at the most cost-effective way. Looking back, we have delivered some reductions, but the things households have had to do have been relatively simple, things like loft insulation, cavity wall insulation. So what we needed to do was understand what people actually want heat and hot water for, so we can design much better low carbon options. So decarbonising heat at home is a huge challenge, um, but history shows that it is possible. In the 70s, only about 25% of homes had gas central heating, but today almost everybody who can does. And when you look at the reasons for that, um, what you find is that actually people really liked gas central heating. It was better than what they already had, and that holds a clue for how we're going to tackle this. So there are three main challenges we need to tackle if we're going to decarbonise how people use heat at home. The first is to do with improving the experience. And when you look at what people want from heat, what they want to do is get clean and comfortable in lots of different ways. Um, but they also want to be able to protect their property, enhance their health, and enrich their relationships. So there's some clues there about how we can improve the design of the experience. The second thing is it has to be a little bit simpler to install a low carbon heating system. At the moment it can take several weeks and actually people don't even know what to prepare for. So what we need are local plans that explain to people what's going to happen in their area and better information so they know how to prepare. So in a situation where the boiler's broken before they've had a chance to prepare, what they might need is some kind of interim solution that gives them time to prepare effectively. The third challenge is that once they've got a solution in their home, they need to be able to control it to get the experiences that they want. At the moment, that's a little bit difficult because there's a delay between adjusting a setting and feeling the effect. That delay can be even longer with a low carbon heat pump. So we need far better controls so people can choose how much to spend, how much time, money, effort to spend getting the heat experiences they want. So our next steps are to work with industry to improve heating services, the design of heating systems and smart controls. Um, then we're going to collect evidence on how well those new technologies perform in real situations and plans in local areas for which sorts of technologies are most suitable for which sorts of area. And then we'll use that evidence to inform debate around policy and regulation to deliver a low carbon transition for the UK. For more information about what we found and other insights, please take a look at our website.